Hey guys, it's Colonel Coffee here from 221B Gaming, and today we are bringing you our step by step guide on how to complete the King's Fall raid on Destiny the Taken King. So, as you can see here, I'm with my group. We'd already completed the raid with our main characters. Unfortunately for me, I was still on my main character because my other ones weren't high enough yet, but these guys had all swapped to their second. So, this is basically our second run through of the raid. I'm going to take you through the first step now so that we can get straight into this tutorial. As you can see when you spawn in, there's two relics. There's one on the left pillar and one on the right. And there's also a barrier in this kind of doorway. You'll notice that we're in the Court of Oryx right now. There's three statues in this hallway on the left and three statues on the right. The objective here is to power each statue with two relics. So the first two relics, as I said, are right in the spawn room there with you. You want to have two people grab them, run to the first statue, say the first left one, and you both hold X on it and you'll slam dunk it and power it up. As soon as it's done this, it will come up on screen saying a new relic has been formed or has appeared, as you can see there. Now at this point you want to try and break off 3 and 3, because each relic will split off to the left and the right. And as you can see, a lot of ads will continuously spawn. So you want to have two designated relic carriers, and they're going to be grabbing the relic each time. You're going to have two people on ad control from both sides, and they'll just literally be taking out ads, and then two people on door control. So as you can see this is the big door, every time you come back here with a new relic the door's got a barrier you need to shoot it down, it's pretty straightforward. And as you can see the door I'm running through now, you'll see in a second the barrier, there's going to be two barriers, one there and one at this one. And again you want to shoot them down. So just to recap you want to have one relic carrier, one person on adds and one person on shooting the doors down per side. So he picks up the relic here. Someone's taking care of the ads and I'm shooting the doors down. Obviously I can help with ads as well. There's the second one. And then you just make sure he's got a clear path because you do have a time limit to do this or you'll have to restart. So once I said, once again I said uh, if you charge up all the statues, you put down two relics per statue, like so, and you get to the last one, you're going to complete this step. So you basically need two relics per statue and then once you've done it all a door will open go into the next room and then there will be a portal which you're going to find out in a second so at this point we were kind of on a time frame here like we it took us 10 hours to complete the raid the first time so we were trying to speed it up a little bit so you can either kill all these enemies or just jump through the portal like I did here so as you can see the chest is just right here in front of us and as, as I said I'd already got the chest on this character. So I hope this step helped you guys out and I will catch you for step 2.